the headquarters of a television in Ecuador was invaded by an armed group threatening journalists and everyone on the team present there. Natalia Prado for the details of the story. On the afternoon of January 9, a distressing event unfolded at the headquarters of TC Television in Guayaquil, Ecuador. A group of armed men, their faces covered by hoods, stormed the premises, creating a scene of chaos and fear. The masked gunmen, wielding rifles and grenades, forcibly instructed journalists to lie on the ground. The harrowing cries and pleas to those present resonated as individuals desperately begged the attackers to not open fire. The gravity of the situation prompted a swift response from the law enforcement as 30 minutes after the gang's invasion, they entered the station and arrested 13 men. In a precautionary measure, other media outlets in the vicinity were directed to close the doors and employees were evacuated to ensure their safety. Some of the freed hostages were seen hugging their loved ones and praying outside of the headquarters of the network. This unsettling episode unfolded mere hours after President Daniel Noboa declared a 60-day state of emergency, citing the recent prison escape on January 7 of Jose Adolfo Macias, alias Fito, the well-known leader of Ecuador's largest gang, the Los Chaneros, a surge in violent incidents across the country accompanied the escape, and at least 10 people have been killed since the state of emergency took effect. According to Noboa, an internal armed conflict now existed in Ecuador, and he was mobilizing the military to carry out operations to neutralize what he described as transnational organized crime, terrorist organizations, and belligerent non-state actors. The government imposed a curfew as part of the emergency measures, a military presence intensified on the streets to restore order and security. Reporting from Newsline World, this has been Natalia Prado, SM9 News.